spread over 24 acres this fort at kandhar was once the seat of the powerful rajshakuta dynasty that ruled over deccan and large parts of central india between the 8th and 10th century ce in continuous occupation from then till the 1840s the kandhar fort passed through many hands including the yadavas of devgiri the delhi sultanate the bahamani empire nizam shahis of ahmednagar and then finally the nizams of hyderabad go to the main gate of the fort and you'll find an inscription from muhammad bin tughlaq who probably stayed here during his southern campaigns built on the banks of the manyad river around 55 kilometers from nanded in maharashtra the original kandhar fort was probably a much smaller wooden structure within the capital of the rashtrakutas here originally ruled by the satvahanas This region came to be the seat of the Rashtrakutas who started off as feudatories to the early Chalukyans of Badami in Karnataka. Aurangabad, home to the famous Ajanta and Ellora caves is where the Rashtrakutas originated from. In fact, in this cave number 15 in Ellora, you will find an inscription mentioning Danti Durga, the most famous of the Rashtrakutas. The inscription chronicles his success in campaigns against Kanauj, Kalinga and Malwa among others. His successor Krishna the 1st is said to have commissioned the famous rock cut Kailash temple at Ellora. In Kandhar, the fort you see today was built much later in the 15th century CE by the Bahamani sultans. Subsequently added to, this imposing fort is encircled by a 12 meter wall and has as many as 18 watch towers overlooking the hills beyond. A wide moat adds a layer of protection to the fort within the fort there's also a water reservoir called jatatung sagar created for the old rashtrakuta capital desperately in need of cleaning this is considered one of the most ancient water reservoirs of maharashtra and is part of a large water network here the shish mahal stands where the old rashtrakuta palace once stood while the kandhar fort has a rich history there's also a lot unknown about this area Take for example pieces of sculpture found by local villagers and archaeologists from around the area. Among the pieces strewn about are parts of a huge sculpture of a giant man measuring 60 feet in height. The foundation of this Vastu Purush was found in the excavation carried out by the government of Maharashtra in 1980. The Kandhar fort also comes with its own legend. In fact the official Nanded Gazette published by the government in 1971 says that Kandhar was originally called Panchalpuri and it was here that Draupadi married the Pandavas The valley in the proximity of the town is also known as Pandavdara Clearly Kandhar hides as much as it reveals and it is a must visit We build the country with pride. Trusted by India, we are steel makers to the nation. Steel Authority of India Limited.